Okay. Let's see if we're live. Oh, we are live, but let's see if I guess we'll capture the... Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm just going to get Discord off that real quick. Okay. So. God, I really need to be more this. Is my voice being captured? Yes, it is. Okay. It, uh, bloody hell. There we go. And boom. Okay. So, dreadful crimes. Here we go. The Fiend of the Fleet Street. <laughs> the game was frozen, just a kid talking. Right, hello Big Ben, how are you? Ah, this is one that's most... Ah, this is one that's most promising. An important detective is missing. Skullduggery is surely afoot. Solve it, and I'll write it up quick as you please. Nice dialogue card there to start off with. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, so, what have we got here? The death of a, uh, detective, apparently. Freddy, what are you doing here? He's a friend of mine. The whole station is out looking for him as we speak. Ironically, he came here on an investigation himself. Seems several people have gone missing in this part of town. Missing people? We've had reports of missing people over the last few months. Detective Murphy is just the most recent and the only one who's anybody to speak of. Okay, so Detective Murphy has disappeared, apparently. We got a bunch of stuff over here. Hey, you, miss. I saw him going into the barbershop when I was on my way to work. Into the barbershop, eh? In this kind of neighbourhood, people come and go. You said that very casually. Okay, you are a suspect. What have we got here? Made of pale leather. One, on the bottom is a fading green image. It appears to be some sort of... It appears to be a cross of some sort. Who else is here that I can talk to? Ah, this guy. An odd man indeed. He spent a fair amount of time in here, uh, poking around. Odd man spent a fair time poking around. Some people around town just seem to vanish. It is mysterious. You are also a suspect to say that of T Detective Murphy. Okay, let's see what we can find. Oh, that guy's just drunk. A sack of manure for plants. Examination shows that small bits of bone are mixed in. One appears to be a human knuckle. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. A human knuckle? Hey, what can you tell me? George delivers that to us. It's amazing. The flowers just grow and grow. Who's this George? Sweet boy. Constantly oh. giving my assistant gifts, a jacket, a handbag, oh. and so on. Speaking of jackets, there's one literally right here. Let me investigate this. Flower shop. Woman's jacket. Made of soft brush leather. Decorated with diamond-shaped holes. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay, I've looked at that. Miss, what can you tell me about George? George is my sweetheart. I think he plans to propose marriage soon. Maybe even today. Okay, we have two other places to go to. There's one literally right here, Good the bakery. Must be about someplace. He's probably got pie eyed and run off somewhere. Excuse me, but this gentleman will be a first. Oi, what about us? Hey, miss. No, no, move it over he there. He was in here asking about missing people. Oh, Bought a meat pie, he did. Stayed and chatted for a few minutes, then headed off to the barber. The barber, eh? I'm told that some people have gone missing, but I don't know anything about it. There are clues around here. Oh, there's one right here. What's this? 
Bakery. Bills. Bills paid. Someone from George for meat delivery. It seems Mrs. Murfat pays properly and gets a good deal from George. Okay, there's one other thing. Ah, just over there. What have we got? Crate of meat. With no label. Meat smells a little odd. That's unusual. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Hey, miss, what do you know about that meat? And why is there food scattered everywhere? George delivers meat for my pies. Lovely lad. I pay on delivery. I believe he picks it up from the local butcher shop. The butcher shop, eh? Okay, now there's two other places to go to. Oh, it's literally right there. I still need to go to this barber, though. Ah, uh, there you are. You mean the annoying bloke nosing around? I told him to sod off. <laughs> you are a suspect because you are a butcher and there was, there was something about a human knuckle earlier. I pride myself on the quality of the beef I sell. Somebody selling cheap around here though, my sales have dropped off. George? I don't know any George. George doesn't get his meat from here. Okay, so there's someone else. That human ha Okay, you are a suspect. Okay, so the butcher is a suspect. Uh, and wh whoever runs that other butcher shop is also a suspect. We have a leather shop and a barber shop here. Okay. What have we got in here? Hello? He came in asking lots of questions. I believe I answered them to his satisfaction. Did you? I suppose there are a few people I haven't seen in a while. You said that very casually. Why would you want to know about him? Stupid boy. He does deliver tan leather on occasion, but I really have very little to do with him. Okay. What else have we got in here? There are clips. That's the barber shop. There are clues here, but where? Oh, they're upstairs. Uh, how do I get upstairs? Ah, hello. What's this? Leatherworking tools. A collection of sharp knives and strong, thick needles. Also, several awls, some of which would be used to punch distinctively shaped holes. Okay, there's something else here. Where is it? Aha, what have we got here? Leather. Leather scrap. A sheet of leather with a diamond-shaped hole in it. Okay, so that connects the hand, the bag and this together. Okay, so this is where the bag came from. Still need to find this George, though. Barber shop? Oh, apparently not the... Oh, there's a flower shop. Jesus Christ, okay. Come on, get me in there. Hello? Yeah, I gave him a trim. He asked no end of questions. When I cut his hair, I notices a tattoo right at the base of his neck. A green Celtic cross, it was. A green Celtic cross? You're right. Several people have disappeared over the past months. Some of them were customers of mine. George was in here earlier, getting an haircut. He wanted to look nice for his girl. He's been seeing Joanna from the flower shop for some time now. Said he's finally saved up enough money to pop a question. Has he? Right. What's this here? Sharpen Barber's Razors. Hmm. Oh, we've got some blood. Hello. Several drops of blood. Someone has stepped in and leaving a trail. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. Hey, do you know anything about this? I'm trying to quit drinking. Sometimes my hand shakes when I'm given a shave. That's a lot of blood for just a shave. Let's see where this goes. 
Oh, we've got someone here. No, that's the leather shop. I was just there. Okay. Ah, what have we got here? I haven't seen this George yet. Where is he? I have all the information I need to make an accusation. I'm not going to just yet because I want to get this right. What is this? Get out of here before I throw you out! A list of pickups and drop-offs. The pickups are mysterious. The drop-offs are meat delivered to bakery, Man manure, to f manure to florist, leather to Tobias, leather to leather delivered to leather worker. The totals now, the totals show a thriving business, but the supplier gets most of the money. Expl hmm. Explain what you're doing here to the police. Huh? I'm doing some investigation. Thank you very much. No, please, no, no more, no more. Please, enough. Get out of. <laughs> Let me do my job. I won't have to do anything. That's good, lads. Now what else am I looking for? We've got some things upstairs. Uh, we have a dead body. This is George. Okay. Very recently dead. His chest has a puncture wound. A diamond-shaped hole. Diamond-shaped hole. Hold on a minute. Dreadful crimes. Uh, there was something with this one's decorated diamond shaped holes. There was something with the diamond shaped holes. Where was it? Leatherworking tools. He's got... Okay. That counts the leather man as a suspect. But we need more to go on, though. George's diary. A diary entry indicating that George has become increasingly suspicious concerning his deliveries. Now that I have enough set aside to propose to Joanna, I've written to a detective about my suspicions regarding the true source of the products I deliver. Very interesting indeed. Someone apparently came here and killed George. Out this window. <laughs> they must have climbed. Okay. I still have yet to. Be, I still have yet to go to the flower shop though. <laughs> Okay, so this is where the blood was discovered. George is dead. I'm trying to quit drinking. Sometimes. Trying to quit drinking. You are a suspect. The leather man's also a suspect. Because he's the one that can make the diamond shaped holes. But I still have to go to the um the flower shop though. Why would you want to know about him? Wait, is this the... Wait, is this the... Is this the leather shop? Yeah, it is. Okay, so you're a suspect, and the barber's a suspect. Okay. I need to go to the flower shop. Oh, this is the... Okay, I have been here. I just haven't questioned her much more yet. George, I hoped he'd stop by. I want to see his new haircut. He must be at his house. Oh, I do hope he proposes soon. Uh, I had to tell you, man, but he's dead. <sighs> okay. So, two suspects. The Leatherman and the Barber. He called George a stupid boy, though. Huh. 
Huh. Okay, so I need to figure something out. So the footprints come from up here. What tools do you have? I'm trying to quit drinking. Sometimes my hand shakes when I'm given a shave. George was in here earlier, getting an haircut. He wanted to look nice for his girl. He's been seeing Joanna from the flower shop for some time now. Said he's finally saved up enough money to pop a question. You're still a suspect, but I doubt you did. There's way too much blood for just a simple cut during a haircut. So what about the leather guy? He called George a stupid boy. Not to mention that he's got the uh, tools for the job. Okay, so progression log. Dreadful crimes. Leather working. Distinctly shaped holes. Leather scrap. Diamond shaped holes. Uh, where is he? Puncture mark. Diamond shaped hole. Leather bag. Uh, it doesn't say there. Uh, woman's jacket. Diamond shaped holes. Uh, that's nothing. The meat's still suspicious, but... There's a lot of diamond shaped holes that fit into this. Okay, I'm gonna have to accuse the leather man. Leather man, where are you? He was coming too close to figuring out where all those people were. Thank you, Arashta, for following. They got parceled out to the baker, the florist, and me. Yes! I got the right person. Cleverly puzzled that one out. A very unpleasant crime. Perfect for one of Mr. Raymond's penny dreadfuls. Yeah, thank you for the follow. That was too easy. Okay, yeah. So I actually got the com I got that all right. That's actually the first one I did to get com all correct. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud. Are you guys proud of me? All right. Uh, there's one right over there. Unfortunately, it's not a fast travel. That's the closest. Okay. Like, there were so many points to the leather maker, it's not funny. Hence why I accused him first. And I was right. Wow, okay. Alright, where are we? Alright, uh, Dreadful Crime is up there. Unfortunately, I need... Hey! Excuse me! I need to get there quickly. Need to catch a bus. And I've caught a bus. See, look how fast we're going. Very fucking slowly. Okay. Mystery of the twice dead professor. 
twice dead before. What? Who once once buried returned to Donnie's parlor. The fuck? What the hell? What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Here's an especially exciting one. Perfect for a penny dreadful. A famous professor dies twice. That's once more than usual. Twice as many sales. My name will soon be known across the nation. Yeah, enough with your name. We need to figure out we need to figure out what happened. Okay. Uh, where the hell is his body? Oh, right here. I walked right over it. The body shows evidence of having been in a terrible struggle. There is a deep cut to the forehead that appears to be surgical. The cut goes into the skull itself. A surgical cut. Okay. We need to remember that. Surgical cut. Hello. Angela. It's so very awful. The professor died of an art attack just days ago. Then tonight, I hear pounding at the door. I open it to find him bleeding and in pain. He tried to say something then collapsed dead. Again. He kept repeating, bar queso, bar queso, over and over. What does it mean? Bar queso, bar queso. What does that mean? Hello, kitty. It's unthinkable. Such a great man. We were still in mourning from the burial. He was buried yesterday in the family plot. Yes. Oh, yesterday he was buried. Angel said he had a heart attack a few days ago. Okay. Oh, what's that over there? My dearest love, I do not understand your father's ap and antipathy. Something or other. How do you pronounce that? Towards me. I fear that he will he will take steps to disrupt our engagement. Please obtain this assurance that, no matter if you marry me or no, he will render you your due when the time comes. Your betrothed Virginia. Who is Virginia? So what did it say? Letter to Bing's personal letter. Okay. Is it to this Bing or the dead Bing? Is there anything else here? What's that? God damn it, come on. Inspect. What do we got here? Sculpture. An intricately carved sculpture, evidently of African origin. There is a small recess where something could have been hidden. Where something could have been hidden? There's seven clues here. Jesus Christ. Alright, what do we got upstairs? A dead spider? A large distinct spider curled up in death. A spider? I mean, look how big that is to the game. It looks really big. What's this? Legal letter. A recent letter to Professor Bing from his attorney. My dear Bing. I can certainly amend your will to discourage the marriage of your son with the young lady in question. I have annual allowance that will be suspended in the event of such of such a marriage should serve the purpose. If, as you suspect, she is driven by love of money, such revision should considerably 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 dampen her ardor for your son. Well now, I didn't ask about this. Let's do the other stuff first. My research trip has been a great success. I will be able to verify personally several of the unusual customs that you chronicle in your brilliant book. Once again, I am humbled by your genius, Professor Silas. I should go back and ask about this. Who is Silas? Oh, we got a box here. An open wooden crate shipped from within London is clearly marked to be opened only by Professor Bing personally. Well now, I didn't ask about this. And it is open. Okay, all the clues are found. Now I need to question you. Spider? Let's get that out of here. Emmett is definitely afraid of spiders. Defy deathly. 
He got that a few days ago. Inside was a statue. I thought it was a marvel. But he told me it was quite common. I don't know who sent it. It was like that statue that had that hidden recess. Okay. What about you? My father was an eminent anthropologist and something of an explorer. He made his name by investigating the practices of a small village in the Congo. His colleagues at the university often sent him trinkets from abroad. This is no time to talk about the will. It is true that my father and my fiance didn't get on, but I'm confident that once he got to know her as a daughter-in-law, they would have become friends. Okay. There's one reason to suspect you. We haven't got enough to go on yet. We need to find more. Let's go to the cemetery, see what we can find. There's also a university we can go to. Ooh. Okay. Jesus Christ, how far are they? The university is apparently closer. Okay, I guess we'll go to the university first. Alrighty. So let's see what we can find when we get there. It's a very small university. Hello. Virginia. Oh. A lovely man and quite wealthy. I only wish he had lived to bless my alliance with his son. I'm sorry to hear about that. Do you know whether that change was actually made? What change? Hold on a minute. Okay, so that's from Virginia. From his attorney. So he's accused. So this guy's accusing her of being, of being a gold digger. And letter from colleague. Professor Silas. What's this? Lace handkerchief with red embroidery. Whatever that is. What is that there on the floor? A suspiciously nondescript receipt for seven pounds. Alright, the rest is upstairs. What have we got here? Ah! The dead spider! Spider illustration. An illustration of a spider resembling the dead spider found in the Bing home. A note describes it as a rare spider found in... Oh! <laughs> is, is that the wandering spider? Strong tranquilizer. Well, there's a really big spider. Maybe it's the bird eater? Could be a wandering spider, though. Those things are dangerous. Uh, what do we got here? Tree ties by Professor Wilson. On the topic of an unusual Bolivian spider, one passage notes that the venom produces a state resembling death and that some Andean tribes use the venom during a rite of passage in which initiate boys experience a symbolic death lasting two or three days. I believe I should reinterrogate a suspect. That explains the temporary first death. Okay. Hey, what about you? Oh, you're Dr. Wilson. An eminent colleague. He wrote prolifically. Probably no one will ever amass the amount of knowledge he acquired. My thesis subject. My South American colleagues tell me that this particular arachnid is only found in the Bolivian Andes. Fascinating subject. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a wandering spider, given given how dangerous those can be. Uh, is there anything else here? What's this? A similar crate. An empty box labeled Arachnid Harpodectus? Well, no. I didn't ask about this. Did the spider come in a box? 
I'm most vexed about Doctor. that. A rare specimen of the sort I've been studying for years. It escaped a few days ago, no doubt due to that scatterbrained assistant Virginia. Scatterbrained assistant Virginia, eh? Let's go downstairs, see what she has to say about this. I hoped you wouldn't find that. I'm afraid several of the faculty purchase cadavers for research purposes. It's a fact of university life. So you think there's some fraudulent stuff going on here? Let's go upstairs. We need to question the third guy and find the other three clues. And there they are. Whoa, one's a big bookshelf. Alright. Let's check this stuff first. A pedestal with nothing on it. However, a descriptive label is written. Bagesu Tribal Mask. A jackal. Huh. Okay. Inspect. Bookcase. A well-stocked library of anthrop anthropological books. A significant number of them are by Professor Bing, all well-thumbed. Okay. What's this? Why is there a book on the floor? Book written by Professor Bing. The intriguing customs of deepest Africa. An entire chapter is torn from it. I should return and find out about this. Why is there a chapter torn from it? Hey, you! You are Silas. The anthropological sciences have lost a great mind. He revolutionized the field. It is my fond hope that I may inherit his mantle. Which one is that? Sorry, difficult to read. I've lost my spectacles somewhere. <laughs> Where, really? What did you say? The anthropological sciences have lost a great mind. He revolutionized the field. It is my fond hope that I may inherit his mantle. Inherit? I recently travelled to Africa in order to continue studies on the indigenous tribe Professor Bing discovered some time ago. You said something about inheriting. You're a suspect. Okay, well I'm done here. Now let's go to the graveyard. Oh, wrong way. This way. Actually, is there a back door in here? There is, okay. The cemetery he was buried in is not far from the university, apparently. Alright, let's see what we can find at the graveyard. So far I've counted his son and Dr. Silas as... suspects. Hey, you! He showed up again. First time that's happened in 35 years of grave digging. In 35 years? We've got some sort of jacket here. Grave digger's coat. An old worn coat. One pocket contains a crumpled note. Here's a sum agreed for the last night's transaction. Okay, that's where, that's where those pounds came from. Uh, what else is here? Seven. All right, that's well, the money. Now, I didn't ask about this. So there was a receipt. That's that's the that's the money, and there's the coat that it came from. Do you know anything about this? Body snatching. That's an insult. I'd be in the slammer quick as that if I got caught. Yes, you would be. So I sell a body or two on the side. A man's got to eat, ain't he? I broke the lock and left him on a barrow just behind his tomb. It was dark, couldn't really see. But some fella come by and cart the old professor off. It's money back there. He can likely still see the tracks. You're a suspect for doing that. But, you said, some, you said someone came and carted him off? It's plain that seven guineas is a lot for a bloke like me. I'm careful with me pennies and save for a rainy day. Okay, you are a suspect. There's more clues around here, though. Where are they? Whoa. What have we got here? <laughs> Bing Family Vault. The lock is broken. The door is ajar. Professor Bing's casket is empty. I believe I should reinterrogate a witness. There's a fourth thing somewhere. Where is it? Whoa. Okay, there's some... <laughs> 
there's blood trails on the ground. A lace handkerchief with red embroidery. Another of the same handkerchief. Okay. Hey, you. I saw the sun lock the tomb myself. Really? This, the sun? What's the sun got to do with this? Okay, whoa. What have I not done? University. Oh, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna go back there and, inter and interrogate them. Let's see where this trail goes. Wow, that's way up there. Where is this blood leading me? Or well, whatever it is. Oh, we've got over here. Hello, what have we got here? Whoa, something's been happening here. There's blood everywhere. Abandoned house it includes a saw, a small hammer. The saw is bloody. But the wound was surgical, though. Okay, that's the chapter that was torn out of the book. Here's a mask. A wooden carved mask of a jackal. The entire chapter ripped from Professor Bing's book. Oh, wait, that was... Oh. The chapter describes an ancient custom whereby members of the Begesu tribe ceremonially ingest the living brains of respected elders in order to obtain the knowledge that of. So that's where the wound in the head came from. What's this? Spectacles! Broken in two. Again. Professor Silas, he said he lost his spectacles. Of cold ashes giving off a perfumed odour. I need to go back to the university. So the cemetery is greyed out. Bing's home is greyed out, but the university, I've got to go back there. Okay. Hey, miss. Yes, that's mine. I misplaced a similar one, possibly at the funeral. I was so upset. Really? Because it's found at the other place. Okay, so you're a suspect. The son is a suspect and Silas is a suspect. Okay. I seriously doubt it's the, um, the guy at the grave. That's Dr. Wilson. Where the hell's Silas? Where the fu- Oh, there he is. The anthropological sciences have lost a great mind. He revolutionized the field. It is my fond hope that I may inherit his mantle. Which one is that? Sorry, difficult to read. I've lost my spectacles somewhere. Okay, I'm going to try accusing this guy. I required his knowledge in order to become the greatest anthropologist in the British Empire. And his beloved tribe of savages provided the method. Wow. Okay. That Professor Silas was particularly cunning and gruesome. Mr. Raymond will be thrilled. Oh, what the hell is up with the lighting in this room? Good lord. Everything looks so glossy. Hmm. 
So yeah, that's where the spider came in. To put him in a temporary... Um, temporary coma. And then use a sword in his head. Okay, so yeah. I got the right guy again, two times in a row. Okay. Now where's the next one? All the way over there. Christ. And my train's nowhere near either. God damn it. What's with all the traveling? Bloody hell. I suppose that's closer, but there's gonna be a bunch of jumping on there. <sighs> okay. Alright, let's see. We need to go there. Uh, where can I... There we go. Uh, diving into the water, of course. Argy bargy, eh? Get to work. Look no further. For every day. <laughs> Templar. All right, I need to jack a carriage. Excuse me. Ah, this is much faster. Okay. Slow down now. Doing fine, girl. Slow down and immediately stop. Okay, that works. Seduce. Oh, seduce. Deduce all which. Deduce which all. Of, fuck! I can't. I can't read. Deduce which of all of the potential murderers actually killed Ashton. Which one killed Ashton, eh? Think of that. Crushed by a crate. The most hated man in London. Can you imagine achieving such a title? One day my brilliance will bring me similar recognition. Mr. Will it? What are you talking about? It's of no consequence. What's important is that this man... It's of no consequence. What's important is that this man was hated by many. But who delivered the fatal blow? What's with the dialogue cutting? Come on now. So it's a very gloomy day today in London. Oh Jesus, that's one way to get crushed. Um, come on, can I inspect? There we go. The body's been crushed by the crate, but close inspection reveals other anomalies. A puncture wound to the gut, a bullet wound to the back, and the victim's skin has an odd green pallor along with yellowing around the eyes. Inspection of the bullet wound indicates that such a wound would cause death in 12 minutes. Okay. This is a, there's also a book here. I'm going to read this. Listed daily activities, pharmacy, pub, apple, and household accounting? Is that what it is? Okay. Oh, there's something here too. Footprints. Tracks. The path John Ashton took before he died. Okay, so that's his tracks. Okay, that means absolutely nothing. I know the man. He's hated by everyone. Surprisingly, it's not clear what killed him. 
I find multiple wounds. No need to send many people to jail for killing such a terrible man. What say you only arrest the single person who actually caused his death? Must I? He appears to have been stabbed with a perforating weapon, perhaps a spike of some kind. There would be bleeding and it would affect motor control right away, but death wouldn't come for another six minutes. I suspect that there is at least one deadly toxin in his system. That would explain the green skin yelling around the eyes. Okay. Is there anything else I need? There's a few more clues. Oh, the box itself. Okay. Appears to have fallen from overhead crane onto Ashton. There's also something here. What's this? A pocket watch. Broken watch. Broken pocket watch ascribed, ascribed John Ashton. Stopped at 117 precisely. 117. Okay. 117, 117, 117. There was, there was something that happened with time. Uh, agenda. Household accounting. It was the last place he visited. So it's like that's lucky where those tracks would lead. So there's the crane, there's the two other guys we can talk to. A huge coal power crane. The driving mechanism is complex and requires an expert operator. Well now, I didn't ask about this. Okay. So we need to figure out so we need to figure out who can actually operate this thing. Okay. He owned this site and paid us. We all hated him because he looked for any excuse to cheat us out of our wages. I didn't hate him any more or less than my mates. That's around the time I'm given a few minutes to eat something. About then I would have been buying myself an apple at the stand down the street. It's difficult to work properly. You'd have to know what you're doing to drop it at just the right moment. An apple down the street. There was mention of an apple shop was there? Let's have a look. Uh, agenda. Apple. 109 p.m. Okay. What about you? The man's a right bastard. I hope he's smouldering in hell. Well, I'm not a crane operator. I wouldn't know how to work that. If you're not a crane operator, then you're not a suspect. Uh, oh. I'll talk to this guy again. Ah, uh, Eddie. Eddie? Yeah, I taught him how to work the crane a few days ago. Eddie, you said you did know how to operate a crane. Well, I'm not a crane operator. I wouldn't know how to work that. Granted, though, a few days wouldn't be... isn't enough to really become known as a crane operator. Okay, so you are a suspect. You are not. Okay, let's go check the other places out. So we have an apple stand here. Excuse me, miss. He's my husband. Each day I bring him the household expenses just after he eats his apple. I also brought him his invitation to the knighthood ceremony. The one with the special scepter. Of course he wasn't going to take me along. Hey? I often tie up my hair around a knitting needle. What business is it of yours? Okay, that's odd. Very odd. Has a single bite taken over the apple. The inside of the apple is oddly pink. Okay, so the guy actually ate the apple. His wife stumbles pushed. Took a bite of discarded apple. Well, the team went blah blah blah. Okay. It's likely I used wife directly after he took the apple. He stopped by here every day at the exact oh. same time. He'd buy an apple and try to cheat oh, me out of tuppence. But then most folks do that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. Came by for an apple. He was there when we heard the crate hit the ground. Okay, so we can't count Frank as a suspect if he was here when the crane fell. 
Okay, all the clues here were found. Okay, so. Uh, progression log, dreadful crimes. Alright, so I just need to check on these guys again. I need to know who I'm, who I'm accusing. You are Frank, and you were there when the crane hit the ground? And that guy was just... That guy learned how to operate the crane a few days ago. Okay. You just teleported up here, dude. Whoa! People are coming in! Whoa, what the f... <laughs> okay! This game just broke. Uh, okay, so this guy figured out how to operate the crane days ago. He was trained. He's, that doesn't call himself a crane operator. Okay, so you are a suspect. If you were eating that apple around the corner at the time at the time you died, then you can't be a suspect. Okay. <laughs> Argues with wife and stumbled. I'm curious as to whether or not I should accuse the wife. Is she a suspect? He's my husband. Each day I bring him the household expenses just after he eats his apple. I also brought him his invitation to the knighthood ceremony. The one with the special scepter. Of course he wasn't going to take me on. Okay, I'll count you out now for the time being. Okay, so here's the pub. He's only here for two minutes. Jesus, okay. Hello. Ashton stops in front of this pub every afternoon to check on business rumors. Something of a bastard, Ashton. Told me he had a bit of jam on the side, if you know what I mean. Wife didn't know about it. Well, the bit of jam wants out, but he won't let her. That's the sort of fellow we're speaking of. Is he having an affair? Because interesting, uh, Hendrix refinery brought to a halt. Apparent the sabotage has destroyed machinery at Lawrence Hendrix foundry. Rumors circulating imply that industrialist John Ashton is behind the sabotage of his competitor. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of people to suspect. What have we got here? A gun, a Wembley Boxer revolver. One chamber is empty. Well, now. I didn't ask about this. Okay, looks like we've got someone to. Oh, back to the construction site. That was Ashton's doing. The man had it in for me. He paid workers to wreck my machines. Cost me a fortune. As long as he was around, I'd never prosper. Okay, you are. As a matter of fact, I do carry a revolver at all times. It can be a dangerous neighborhood for a wealthy fella such as myself. This proves nothing. No, it doesn't. You are a suspect, though. So I shall leave you here for the time being. Let's go to the pharmacy, see if they have anything to say. Oh, what's this? Medicine box. Ashton's prescription with, with a few or many blue pills. He must have dropped it along the way. Blue pills. Doesn't explain why the apple's pink. I see him here every day. He can be unpleasant, but I don't really know him. Okay, what about you? He's been coming to me for years. Oh. He arrives precisely at one o'clock and leaves yeah. two minutes later. He takes a bluish medication every day and prefers that I administer it. Oh. Mary is a trusted assistant. As far as I know, she's completely above board. Today, she swept the shop and prepared some medications. She also fetched herself an apple from the apple stand. Did she really? There's some clues here. Where are they? Hello. Warning, not to be ingested. It's a bluish colour and is listed as causing erratic movement after 10 minutes and death after an additional 16 minutes. Causes jaundice about the about the eyes and has an extreme anaesthetic effect. Chemical 2 is a pinkish colour. It's causing erratic movement after 2 minutes and death after an additional onion. Okay, we have suspects here. So you two are suspects. There's a third one. There's a third clue somewhere. Where is it?
What the hell is this thing? Oh, there it is. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just he. Addressed it to Thomas Reese. Tom, my dear brother, I have recently made a most upsetting discovery. The man who forced the foreclosure of the family farm was none other than John Ashton, your very client. His behaviour in this affair is beyond indecent. Both father and mother are reduced to penury. You and I must con contribute what we can, although we each have, our, have obligations of our own. At the very least, we must cease, you must cease to do business with this dreadful man. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. Okay. You. This really is none of your business. He came to me for his blue medication. I gave him blue medication. Okay, back to the construction site and the apple stand. These people know something. Are you sure you gave him blue medication? That's the assistant to suspect then. Girl who works at the pharmacy? Oh. Here, she slipped me an extra thruppence. Oh. She had a special app just for Mr. Ashton. I gave him that one when he come by. Mary is a suspect. Mr. Ashton did look strange like. Eyes all yellowish. And then he turned pale after he bit into the apple. Almost green, really. But who killed him, though? We need to arrest the one who actually killed him. Oh, there's still another clue here. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Please contribute to the benefit fund for the man who had his arm crushed. Any help will be appreciated. I should return and find out about this. The man who had his arm crushed? My best chum is mine for life. And Ashton didn't care a fig. He deserved what happened. Beyond that, I'm mum. Okay, so you're not a suspect, his wife isn't a suspect, and the woman's not a suspect, the Appalachian's not a suspect. Just Mary and this man. Question is, who killed him? The crane or the apple? It was me for certain. I watched the crate fall and crush him. He was still moving when it hit. Nope. Stupid when he hit. Okay, so it was Mary. God damn it. Oh, damn it, I didn't go back to the pharmacy. God damn it. Okay, so we know who dropped the crane, but it wasn't but it wasn't he who actually killed him. Quite right. I asked the apple seller to give him a special apple. Is that a crime? He was a horrid man. That's all I have to say. I'm not that clever with poisons. It's pure luck that I'm the one that killed him. Wait, so who was it? Apple stand. Fuck. I'm going a little more back and forth than I thought it would. Alright. Hey! Lady at the apple stand! I have questions for you! Oh no, it's the wife. Very well. I found out about his dalliance with that girl from the pharmacy. It's not the first. Divorces. All but impossible given his influence with the clergy. I'll be the toast of the town. So you're the one that killed him. A very unpleasant fellow. But what was that business about a knighthood ceremony? In any case, Mr. Raymond will have a story for Perlock Publishing. Okay. So three people involved in his murder, but only one actually killed him.
His business rival, his employee, his wife, his mistress, and his pharmacist all made attempt on his life. Poisoned, shot, stabbed, and finally crushed, Ashton came to a very gruesome end indeed. I didn't even accuse the pharmacist. Uh, not the pharmacist, the guy at the pub. Okay. So hey! Excuse me. Okay. So I didn't completely fail that. Uh, where's the next for crimes? Oh, it's very close by. Fast travel. Look how fast we're traveling. <laughs> See, look at me. We're, we're traveling so fast. Traveling faster than the speed of light, we'd circle the Earth seven and a half times in a second. And yes, I do actually know that. All right. Now where is this thing? Literally very close by. The bullies, eh? Oi! Leave him alone. Oh, and someone's not happy that I do that. You'll learn to let me do my business next time. Next stop, murder. This is a different man, what the hell? Someone help! Some trap found something down there! Looks like foul play! Foul play, eh? Come on, you silly man. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell happened here? Male body dressed in the manner of a wealthy businessman. He is wearing only one shoe. The man has sustained multiple fractures indicating a fall from a great height. There are no identifying documents. Wearing only one shoe, and is a businessman. Okay, what other clues are there? Oh, we got a coat. A rich man's coat with a name sewn into the lining. Matthew Killian. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. There's still a clue somewhere down here. Where is it? What the hell is this clue? You must have fell from up there. Hello, what have we got here? A pocket watch. A broken silver watch. The hands have stopped just after midnight. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Just after midnight, eh? Okay. Wow, that was quite the jump, Jesus Christ. You, what can you tell me about this? I heard a splash, and right quick pulled this bloke out of the shallows. Dead as a mackerel. I live there now, if you can call it living. I lost my job, didn't I? No need for the likes of me when a machine can do the work. A nice warm coat like that on a dead man? What do you expect? I snatched it before somebody else came along to nick it. Like you. Well, you are homeless, so I'll give you that. The midnight train. That must be the 616. Stops in the station down the road. If you hurry, it might still be there. Thanks for the info. He's not a suspect, because he apparently heard the guy fall down. Victoria train station. Uh, where is it? Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. That's got no horse. Okay. 
Excuse me. I need to take this. Jesus Christ, how far away is it? Let me yell. Are you guys alright? Dancing around. Where the hell does one get into the train station? Where does one get into the train station? Ah, here we go. Okay. Ah, are you a conductor? Anywhere else in London. You better hurry. It's leaving right now. Better go on that train before it leaves. I had drinks in the dining car with Killian. We had business dealings in the past. It was a pleasant surprise to discover him on this train. Okay, what about killing do you know? I suppose there were some disagreements, but there always are when a great deal of money is involved. I felt unusually tired and came back here to get some sleep. If you did, then you can't be a suspect. What have we got in here? Killing will be on the 616 train to Cardiff to sign the papers. You must prevent him from signing them at all costs or we shall be ruined. Okay, so whoever wrote this was involved in his... It was actually killed him. Sleep a one letter. Mr. Wolf had a few with Mr. Killian. Then the young lady invited herself over to have a glass with him. Who's the young lady? Mr. Wolf became terribly tired even though he'd only had one drink. He toddled off to bed well before midnight. I stayed in the dining car for a few drinks with the barman. Mr. Wolf bought him drink after drink. Then they got angry. But the young lady come over and it's obvious that Mr. Killian was interested in a rendezvous like. Around about 11.30, Killian and her left together. Okay, so who- Ah! I've been Mr. Wolf's valet for going on several years. He's frail and needs a man like me to help him about. Okay. A gun. A small ivory plated derringer. Chamber for two bullets, but one is missing. I haven't had anything related to blood yet. Sam? He's a trusted valet. He's terrifically strong, which makes him useful in many situations. Will that make him a suspect? See what we can find in here. One clue and a suspect. Okay. Good thing, boys. Some noises on the roof woke me up briefly. Yeah. You say someone was thrown from up there. You have to be a very strong fella to drag someone up onto the roof. Vivian had another of her dupes in her compartment by then. After that, I remember people going past me from time to time, but I was half asleep. Killian was on this train. Cool. I used to work in his foundry. I've never even seen him. None of us workers ever knew what he looked like. Okay. So strong man over there is a suspect. Now there's a clue here somewhere. Where the hell is it? The shoe. The missing shoe. Caught on a bolt at the top of the carriage with a shoe matching the one found on the victim. Okay, so we know where the shoe went. So it was it was thrown from the top of the train. Nothing unusual. A couple of passengers came in and had a sort of business meeting. One of them was buying a lot of drinks for the other, and then they started to argue. But Vivian went over and joshed them out of it. 
Okay, who's this Vivian? Uh, where the hell's the clues for here? Oh. Has it? Okay. Uh, I haven't been to... I haven't been to the other sleepers yet. Alright, what have we got in here? An article about Matthew Killian's efforts to close an enormous business deal in Wales. It notes that Killian is well known for replacing workers with machinery. There is a likeness of Killian in the paper which matches the victim. Okay, so we know... So, yeah, Killian is apparently his name. What have we got here? A pamphlet. Down with the industrialists. Down with the monarchy. Revolution is the only way. Some had a fascination with the French Revolution. And what's this over here? One of the drinks. No, it's a sleeping pill. A small box of sleeping pills. It is half empty. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. Okay, let's talk to this guy. It was a typical evening. As far as I knew, nothing unusual happened until you came aboard with this story of a murder. So you weren't aware that he died? I was tidying up in the passenger car. Around midnight, Vivian ran through. She thought someone was looking for her. Just another wealthy passenger. They're all pretty much the same. Are they? Okay. Oh, uh, well, it's a noisy train. Plenty of passengers have trouble getting to sleep, so I keep a sedative here behind the bar, yeah? Peter, nice bloke. Came here after being sacked from a foundry a few months ago. I'll tell you, he looked white as a ghost after he served the businessman. Okay. Don't know if that means anything. Alright, what do we got here? You're the strong man. Are you? Well, Peter worked with me at the foundry. No. He's a very strong bloke. I got my arm mangled in one of the damn machines they put in. Then Killian sacked the old crew. Peter, he helped me get hired as train staff. Okay. Let's check the other sleeper. So you're the strong man, I take it. Uh, wait, who's the strong man again? I keep forgetting. I felt unusually... Sam? Was it Sam? Pretty sure Sam's a strong guy. Ah, you must be Vivian. What have we got here? How goes it, Viv? Hook any more fish? It's a lovely caper you've, you've got going. I need to find me a bonnie scheme like that. Let's have a glass next time you're in sh you're in Soho, love. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Is there anything else here to look for? Oh, what's this? A handwritten note. Come to the restaurant carriage quickly. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. The shoe was on top of the rest drawn carriage, I believe. Nothing unusual at all. I had a drink with some gents and then retired to my sleeper. Someone slipped a note under my sleeper door a few minutes before midnight. It said I should come to the dining car. I went, but only Ryan and Wolf's man were there, and they were both drunk. The rich fella, I did talk with him. Very charming. But a single woman has to be careful, you know? Did something happen to him? Yes, he's dead. Oh, uh, all right. I flirt with rich blokes and the barman slips him a mickey. I take him back to my sleeper and they nod off before I have to do anything shameful. They wake up thinking they had a night of fun and hand me a few quid. That's what happened with Mr. Killian, but he was gone when I come back from looking for the man who left the note. So who was the one that killed him? I see your dad was her unless the strong guy had something to do with it. You mean the young lady? She and Killian hit it off famously. 
Embarrassing, really. Okay. That one. Clever little minx. She and the bombman got a little scam going. I think everyone on the staff knows about it. The barman? Okay. She's a frequent passenger, that one. <sighs> Hangs about with the wealthier sort. Sure. Likes to entertain them, if you take my meaning. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I helped Vivian fleece the dupes. I slipped a pill in the wine for the table. Both gents got sleepy, but Vivian picked the richest one. What is that supposed to mean? What about you? She rides the train often. She's very friendly with the other passengers. I'm suspecting the woman or the strong guy. I keep forgetting who the strong guy is, so. <sighs> oh, uh, well, it's a... Ah, uh, some of the... Okay, some of it's been cut off. The dialogue. I was tidying up in the passenger car. Around midnight, Vivian ran through. She thought someone was looking for her. Okay, so Vivian was going through the carriage looking for someone. Okay, so it can't be that guy. Scheme. Yeah, I helped Vivian fleece the dupes. I slipped a pill in the wine for the table. Both gents got sleepy, but Vivian picked the richest one. I don't think that means anything. Okay. What were you doing at midnight? Vivian had another of her dupes in her compartment by then. After that, I remember people going past me from time to time, but I was half asleep. Where the hell did you sleep? Well, Peter worked with me at the fair. Alright, so Peter's a strong guy, okay. I felt unusually tired and came back here to get some sleep. Okay, so someone laced the drinks with sleeping pills. Mr. Wolf became terribly tired, even though he'd only had one drink. He toddled off to bed well before midnight. I stayed in the dining car for a few drinks with the barman. Oh, she's bloody gone. Damn it. Where the hell's Peter? Where the hell did she go? Oh, uh, hello. You are Peter, okay. I gave him what he deserved. The man was heartless. Yeah, I suspected it was you. Since you're the strong man who, who helps climb to the top. Where the frick did the woman go, though? I believe something larger is afoot. A lot of murderous anger concerning industrialists. Might be something to look into. Up to the click with you! Okay. Boom. Done. I uh, didn't fail one. Alright, where's the next dreadful crime? Right next to that train station. Perfect. Fast travel.
All right. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, I'll do that uh, dreadful crime mission, then I'll go take a break. I should come back and see if I can finish it or not. How can I tell how many dreadful crime missions there are? Uh, progression log. Dreadful. Really? I can't have a look at it? God damn it. Uh, progress tracker. What do we got here? London stories, is it? Here we go. Dreadful crimes. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm actually nearly done. Apparently I skipped one. The fuck? Okay. I'm in a rush. <laughs> what the hell is that? Step up. Come and look at the most beautiful products in London. Okay. So I, leave, I literally have two more missions to complete this DLC and I'm done. Okay. My dear friend, the Ghost Club has an extraordinary case for you. Spiritualist Thaddeus the Amazing has predicted his own death at his next seance. Could you have a look? Predicted his death, has he? The house is literally just here. Okay. Reach the seance. God, I fucking hate seances. We have a visitor. Approach, please. Yes, hi, hello. What's happening here? Help! Not yet. Ah! Someone, light the lamps. Oh, he's actually dead. Uh, I can't move. There we go. Wow, he died. And you were pretty close to him too when that happened. His hair and clothes have been slightly scorched from the explosion. A blade knife is stuck in his, is stuck in his torso. You were right next to him when he died. What happened? Oh, shit. He was an incredible psychic. I came to clarify some uh, personal financial matters. I don't understand what happened. He foretold his own death, but I didn't expect it to happen like this. What about you? This is so frustrating. I had a simple question, but have had to come back for seance after seance, week after week. Each time Thaddeus divined a partial number from the other side, but never the entire correct number. Today he promised that I would get everything. Well, apparently not. <laughs> I sought him out after the death of Mittens. Who the hell is Mittens? Mittens is my beloved kitty cat. She was run over by a milk wagon several weeks ago. I've been trying desperately to contact my sweet thing ever since. I'm not well though, and likely haven't long to live myself. I was so hoping to hear from my loved one. I'm convinced Thaddeus could have communicated Mittens' wishes to me. I must know to whom Mittens wishes that I should leave my fortune. And now Thaddeus is lost to us. I shall never know. What's this? A rudimentary timer with charred remains of a fuse attached. The fuse leads to an empty plaster cylinder. Apparently the container of a non-lethal amount of gunpowder to produce the recent flash of light. Okay, so no one calls that then. Right, you. I have no doubt that his powers were genuine. He was able to tell me of my daily comings and goings and all manner of details that he couldn't possibly have known. He certainly was going to be able to put me in contact with my sister. Sister? I've been coming here to decide whether I should accept a marriage proposal. 
Thaddeus had been attempting to contact my departed sister so that she could give me advice. Thaddeus was a kind man who sincerely wanted me to make the best choice. Now what am I to do? I'm so sorry to lose Thaddeus. The oddest part is that he claimed all would be revealed to each of us before his death. Well, that didn't happen. What about you? Nothing but a showman, really. Each week he gave a seance with all his clients present together. So many people makes everything much more dramatic. Okay, so you really didn't believe in him. I attend Lady Ursula at these sessions. She's ailing and needs someone to help her along. I have no particular belief in an afterworld, but if it comforts my lady, I see no harm. Okay. Can't really, can't really suspect anyone here. What's upstairs? Uh. Aha! What do we got here? Client list. A list of Thaddeus' clients' addresses. There are also two columns for each each client. Both columns indicate significant amounts of money per seance. The first column appears to refer directly to the client. It isn't clear to whom the second column refers. However, Dr. Wilburn is missing from the list. Oh, great. Three more places have been on the, li on the list. God damn it. All right. So there's something here. An unsigned paper which would enable Thaddeus Smith to act as Howard Roberts' legal representative. I should go back and ask about this. Howard Roberts? What's he got to do with this? Uh, what's this over here? Theatrical supply, flash pot, eight shillings. Flash pot. Okay. Uh, there's two more things here. Ah, uh, there's one. For the love of God, get his signature at the next session or I swear I'll expose you. A psychic's threatening note. Who is AR? Oh, and here's the last thing. Weathered, probably written weeks ago. I found a tramp who lives on the street near one of the pigeons. The fellow smokes like a chimney and for the price of a few cigarettes he supplies me with all the information I need. Someone who smokes cigarettes, Jesus Christ. Who's this AR person? Ah, uh, here we are. Thaddeus felt that if I signed some papers, it would demonstrate to my dead father that I had absolute trust in Thaddeus. Douglas Butler. Howard Roberts. Lady Ursula. Jack Janice Asquith. Dr. Wilburn. Okay. So where are these other places? Dear God, I've got some travelling to do. Let's go to Robert's house. Steady on. Excuse me. Slowly, slowly. Alright, so here's Robert's house. Easy, girl. Easy. Hello, ma'am. How are you? My brother has become obsessed with some secret bank account. He inherited almost all of my father's fortune, as well he should as the male heir. But some was locked in a secret account. I think it unlikely that it should be a significant amount. Okay. I went along to the seances a couple of times. I thought it was a waste of my <gasps> brother's time. Power of attorney to a psychic. That sounds very unusual indeed. You're not wrong there. Uh, there are three things. Uh, here they are. All right, what do we got? A note ap appended to the father's will specifying that 
The bulk of my fortune is safely secured in an account, the particulars of which will be communicated by word of mouth to my son. Okay, so that's a will. A secret account. Uh, there's supposed to be two other things. Here, there's one. Several banknotes. All crossed out. Why are they all crossed out? Where's the third thing? Ah, downstairs. Sydney newspaper clipping. Dated over a year ago. Mysterious death mysterious death in King Street. A spiritualist who went by the name of Felix Magnus claimed that he would die at his next seance. But the outcome held even more drama. Mr. Magnus demonstrated to several clients that their closest friends and relatives were closest friends and relations were swindling them via Magnus himself. Before bursts of smoke and flame ended the seance abruptly. Magnus was declared dead by a certain Dr. Folsom, who was attending as a client. Okay, that's interesting. I need to go back to the psychic's house. There's something there. Uh, why am I running on foot? God damn it. Yeah, his house is literally just here, so it's not really too much of a run. Why is this house still white if... I'll have to come back here later. Ursula's house versus Asquith's, Asquith's house. Asquith's is closer, but I'll get to Ursula's faster because it's mostly a straight run there. Hey, wait! That's a girl. That's a girl. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Some sort of commotion. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Okay, I might have to kill them before I can continue on. That's the way. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Oh, Lady Ursula's health is not good at all. And now she's lost her cat, it's almost like she has nothing left to live for. He's been Lady Ursula's butler for years. We have plans to marry. But first, Douglas needs to put together a little nest egg. He says he'll have some money soon. Lady Ursula was planning to leave her fortune to her cat Mittens. Since the cat passed on, she's been going to that spiritualist and hopes that Mittens will tell her what to do with the money. Why would she do that? Okay, you and the bug, you and Douglas are suspects. She went to the seance to ask, to ask for some, ask Mittens as to what to do with the money, but he died before he could say so. So you and Douglas are are suspects. Dated seven months ago, medium, medium foretells his own death in a stunningly dramatic final seance. Psychic Roberto El Magnifico revealed that several clients were being traduced by their loved ones who had paid him to give information at his false seances. But then, just as predicted, he was killed in a mysterious explosion during his final seance on Newbury Street. One of his clients, a Dr. Pittenween, wow, pronounced him dead at the scene. The phrase is, Traduced by the loved ones and mysterious explosion are, are circled in pencil. Okay. So the rest of the clues are upstairs. There's one. I found another newspaper article similar to the one I gave you. This one is from Sydney. It appears we will be exposed at the next seance, just as those people were. Douglas, you got me into this. You better solve it. 
Wow, okay, someone's not happy. Who wrote that? What have we got here? Ooh, master bedroom, hello. To Miriam, my my maid. And to my and to Douglas, my butler. I leave my Belshingham China in thanks for their long service to be given on their wedding day, whenever that day shall be. I leave my dear cat mittens with all my remaining worldly goods in the hope that they bring him even a small portion of the of the joy he has brought me. In anguish handwriting in the margin is scrawled, Whatever I will do now that Whatever will I do now that my dear mittens is no more. All the more reason to suspect that the butler and the maid were had something to do with the killing. We're not done here yet though. House is great at now. The psychic house is still white, but I'm not done yet. Asquith's house. What are we gonna do there? Now I've got two people to suspect. Oh, what's this? There is a letter in Come one of the on, pockets. What are you doing? Will you shut up? Boyd, dear lad, if you don't give me the money by the end of the month, you will be in a heap of trouble. Go back, go, go, go back the way you came. The kind of trouble that hurts. Need I say more? <gasps> shut up. I've never seen a clear ah. to piss off. I'm off. Oh, I'm feeling a bit under the weather. Her father mentioned this swindler to me. I understand it's because of him that my engagement has been delayed. That my engagement has been delayed. Okay, you didn't you don't have much to say. Nothing much downstairs. This is upstairs. Oh, what's this? Mr. Everett Boyd's Mr. Everett Boyd's business plans appear to be sound. As long as he has no other pressing obligations, I believe that, if your daughter accepts his proposal, the money you settle on the happy couple would mean the success of Mr. Boyd's venture and your daughter, Janice, would live a comfortable life. I should return and find out about this. Excuse me. Never trust a man who tells you what you want to hear. He's after something. Oh. Taking advantage of my daughter's love for her departed sister. With that charlatan gone, things can get back to normal. My daughter's engagement to Everett Boyd can be announced at last. A girl of Janice's age should be married. Everett is a very sensible young man from a good family. He'll be very successful, I'm sure of it. Sounds like an arranged marriage, if you ask me. Janice's elder sister was strong-willed. Janice always followed her lead. That's why it's so sad that she asked for advice even in death. Time for Janice to think for herself. I know what's best for her. That contradicts what you just said. It's time Janice knew what knew it's time Janice knew to think for herself, and you know what's best for her. Really. You are a suspect. Alright, go check to see what's upstairs. What's that? I have some affection for Everett, but I don't think my sister would approve of him. She always bade me to strive for more th than that which merely appears directly in front of my nose. If only father weren't urging me otherwise. Okay, she apparently doesn't love him. What else is here? Where the hell's the fourth clue? Let's talk to the guy downstairs first. Janice is a lovely creature. I would be honored were she to accept my proposal. I do adore her. You sound kind of you sound quite posh. <laughs> I know the owner of a local brewery, and I'm convinced his business will flourish. He just needs some financial backing. Now Janice is free to be married at last. I'll invest my dowry in the brewery and make a fortune. Okay, so there's a brewery. 
What the hell is this last thing, though? Oh, it's outside. A pile of a pile of stubbed out cigarette butts, likely left by a vagrant. One can still smell tobacco smoke. He mentioned a brewery, though, but there's nowhere I can go. Back to the psychic. We gotta find something. Bye. All right, well, I'm suspecting the colonel was the one that killed him. But then there's the butler and the maid. Who want, who could apparently want Lady Ursula's will since she was leaving it to a cat. I don't have enough to accuse, though. What the hell do I do? Is there something else I'm missing? I don't see anything that I'm missing. Why is this place still white? If what have we got here? Why are those logs being highlighted? That is a good question indeed. Don't too much to look up a wiki again. It's gonna be something. Local brewery, hey? You mentioned a local brewery. Hold on. Let's go back to Asquith's house. Actually, hold on. Let's check the progression log. Dreadful crimes. Okay, Douglas is involved in something. Yeah, just to... All the worries to do expose... Uh, expose. To suspect Douglas. Okay. Where the hell do you say this brewery was? It's likely I'm missing something. I am missing something. But... There's actually nothing here. I know the owner of a local brewery, and I'm convinced his business will flourish. He just needs some Lord. financial backing. Now Janice is free to be married oh, at last. I'll invest my life. dowry in the brewery some and make a star. fortune. Good Lord. Where oh, is yeah. this brewery? There's a pub across the road. Which has absolutely nothing to do with this. 
fuck. Well, something you still decide. What the hell? Oh, I found something. Tobacco scent. Where is this going? Aha, uh -huh, hello, street corner. What do we got here? Why the hell is there a red area here? Alright, let's see, what do we got here? Interrogate. That's me. Tramp. Yeah, some fella come by here every so often. Gives me a silver sixpence if I tell him everything about the folks in that house. Do you really? Nothing unusual about him. Just a regular fella. I've seen him go into that building over there. Building over there. An office, okay. Okay, now I can accuse, but I need more to go on. I'm accusing Doug and the Asquith guy. Now, what here can I look at? So far, nothing. Wow, this place is lacking clues. Wow, I've got to go way upstairs, okay. Yeah, this is where it all is. Whoa, there's a mess in here. Several business cards for a medical doctor. All are identical except each is printed with a different name. Typical doctor's notes, really. What else we got here? What's this? Thaddeus' note. W arrive after the others as usual. It will deflect suspicion. Also, make certain that we get a big flash this time. They must be convinced it's enough to kill me. Wow, okay, so Thaddeus is, uh... That's one way to predict your own death. Jesus. A set of files de containing disorganized details regarding Thaddeus' clients, for example. Wants cats to tell her he should inherit. Genesis' sister called her Sissy. The cat loved to play with Lady Use teaspoons. Uh, wants to tell you that her sister approves of the marriage. Knows account number. Needs his signature to access. Howard's father enjoyed grouse shooting. I believe I should reinterrogate a suspect. Okay, someone apparently knows this. And what is that? Hello, Cypher. Yes, this is the uh, Dreadful Crimes DLC. Office note. The account number is A72 at Kentish Bank. Okay, does this mean I... We could, what do I go back to now? Uh, the Psychic's house, apparently. Okay. So where's the Psychic's house compared to here? Oh, Christ. Okay, uh... I need a carriage. There's a free carriage right here. So I just need to go here. Come on, turn around. There we go. Keep moving. But yeah, this is the Dreadful Crimes DLC. I'm actually very close to finishing, actually. Ah, got some more people to question here now. That's why it was still white, because I hadn't actually... Okay. Excuse me, peeps. You think someone paid Thaddeus to tell my lady that a cat wanted them to inherit? Well, that would be quite a clever scheme indeed. Okay, so someone was, inv someone was involved in telling him what to say. I simply do not believe it. And if you're implying that my butler was paying Thaddeus, I must ask you, why would a great psychic do the bidding of a common butler? Hmm? One reason, 
That's a, okay. That's another reason to acute, to suspect the butler. My own sister, paying Thaddeus off. I thought he was a bit too insistent that I sign that paper. Well, Anne is going to get a good talking to, believe you me. Good Lord, you found the office? I admit it then. Thaddeus and I traveled the world, bamboozling the gullible and then exposing the swindle. But his death was meant to be a fake. I have no reason to want Thaddeus dead. Quite the contrary. Okay, so you were involved in falsifying the seances, but you had no, but nothing to do with his death. Okay. What about you? You believe that Everett paid Thaddeus to manipulate me? It cannot be true. Thaddeus knew all of my comings and goings. He genuinely could communicate with the world beyond. Where's this Douglas guy? He was going to reveal my plot. He paid the price for betraying a fellow crook. Yes, I got it right. I knew it was this you. This fellow was rather too clever by half. But you pieced it all together very cleverly. Mr. Clint Raymond was particularly interested in this one. He admired the duplicity of Thaddeus. Uh, next is not Jack the Ripper, uh, Cyphus. It's actually, um... It's actually the last... Maharaja. Next. Okay. So, progression log. Let me just check to see how many... Yeah, that, that's something unlocked if I'm doing a mission. Uh, dreadful crimes. What's it under? There it is. One more. I am very close. Murder at the palace. One more mission, and then this DLC is done. Uh... Buckingham Palace, of course. Okay. Alrighty. Um. So yeah, I actually checked the chronology of what DLC comes first. Uh. So. Dreadful Crimes comes first, then Last Maharaja, then Jack the Ripper. So... I just need to get out here. There we go. Sold the perplexing murder of a palace guard. Freddy, what are you doing here? There has been a murder at the palace. I need you to be careful with this one. Anti-royalist pamphlets have been cropping up and tensions are high. The queen is very nervous about security. This way. So she would be if something like that was happening. Huh? Run faster, damn it! You're a police officer, are you not? What the hell's happening here? You didn't know about the other DLCs? Yeah, well, there's others. This is one of them. This way. Can you run faster, please? Bloody hell. First you fail at disguises, then you run really slowly. No wonder you're a shit officer. Here we are. Good luck. Oh, dialogue cut off. God damn it. Okay. So, Palace Guard, where is he? There he is. Hey, mate. How you doing? Oh, I can't see anything. A member of the Palace Guard slumped in a contorted position, eyes and mouth wide open. The body shows no sign of violence. No sign of violence, eh? His mouth is shut, but his eyes are open. That's actually kind of creepy. Um, okay, we've got some broken stuff here. A priceless vase lying broken on the ground. Signs of a struggle. Okay, so there was a struggle. 
But the guard's not showing any... Someone came through the window. The broken area is large enough to allow someone to allow access to someone. Yeah, someone came inside. And all the glass is gone. Jesus. Uh, what do we got here? You like the Jack Steel C? I'm not. Like I said, uh, from the time anomaly, time anomaly missions onward, I've not actually played any of the uh, non base game stuff. So, like I said, from that point on, I was blind. So, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing here. Uh, to Her Majesty's Private Secretary, Sir Henry Ponsonby. I'm troubled to, to have to write a concerning, disturbing situation that has recently occurred. Yesterday, we informed that a young boy had been abducted, and we have rushed to bring this to your attention and threw you to the attention of Her Majesty, as you think necessarily, for we fear the boy's disappearance may be connected to this possible attempt to disrupt this evening's investiture ceremony at the palace. Please be assured, Sir Henry, that we are doing any everything possible to locate this child. One Arthur Doyle. Arthur Doyle? Wasn't that... Wasn't that the kid I was talking to previously? Or something else? Got a safe here, apparently. Marked by deep gashes if someone attempted to break in. I should go back and ask about this. Please, leave the room for a moment. No one is permitted to see me open the safe. Hello, Your Majesty. Uh, just let me look at this real quick. A list of eminent... In Invitees to the investiture to be held this evening. The Queen will knight several industrialists who oppose child labour. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Okay, guess I'm gonna have to do as she says. She's the Queen after all. Imagine that someone was after the scepter. I must see it. I ordered the scepter with the dove to be brought from the tower for tonight's event. Oh, thank heavens! It is untouched. Uh, Your Majesty, are you okay? Okay, well, uh, I, <laughs> I didn't ask about this. Okay, I actually, I had to try. The poor man. I arrived to find him here, dead as you see him. He gave his life to defend my person. Yes, he did. Only I know the combination. The vault contains the very precious scepter with the dove, which I've chosen to be used in tonight's knighthood. Door magically opens, yeah. <laughs> This evening, I will knight several industrialists that have worked to end the practice of child labour. All of London's luminaries are invited. Okay. So, hmm. Oh, there's another place to go to. Artie's Yard. Where is that? Oh, dear God, that's miles away. Fuck. Okay. We're going to have to quite the travelling to do, and I can't fast travel either. Fuck. Okay. So are these people having a party? They're complaining about something. All right, to Artie's yard we go. Fucking hell. Ubisoft! <laughs> oh, the gate's open. Um. Let's 
Excuse me. I need to borrow this. Hey. It's easy. There's not a fast travel option. Why not? <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Slow down. Walk on. Where are you taking me, game? Well, I guess we're going straight through here. Ah, oh, Christ, okay. So we're just cruising on the way there. Oh, I just accidentally hit the gang. God damn it. Okay, I might have to deal with some enemies before I um, head into Artie's yard. Ow! Now. Okay, we're here. Christ almighty. Right, we've got two kids. Uh, and only one clue. Oh, there's a, okay. Evidence wall. Drawing and text linking various clues and anomalies throughout the mysteries that have been solved and the resulting penny dreadfuls. The final scrawled message is unfinished. Leading to... Rayma ba ba. You should go back and ask about this. What's this say? A sheet of apparently blank notepaper. He's been all in a state. Thinks there's some sort of master criminal on the loose. Then this morning, he's gone. Come to think of it, he had been going on about the Queen and all for the last day or two. Seemed to think she was in some sort of trouble. Well, one of her guards did just end up dead at the palace, so... He said he was onto something. Right. Said everything added in clues. You know, when he thought something was important... He'd write it up in invisible ink. Lemon juice like. Invisible ink. The bla the blank paper. He'd use smoke to redo. If you have a way to make smoke, you can see what it says. I do have smoke grenades. I did see Artie's friend, Mr. Raymond. He'd just come from Perlock Publishing with his new Penny Dreadful. Seemed very excited about it. I never liked him much. Why did you like him much? Can I talk to you again? No. So, this is a blank piece of paper. However, what if I do this? Where's my smoke grenades? Written Invisible Link. Perlock Publishing. Henry Raymond. It's all connected. Follow the clues. Okay, where's that? Perlock Publishing. Where is that? Okay, that's literally just around the block. All right, we can literally run on foot right there. It's literally, like I said, just round the block. Shortcut through the alley. Okay, what are we got in here? Nothing downstairs by the looks of it. What's upstairs? Oh, we got something upstairs. Empty munitions from number 408. 
That's from a previous um, Dreadful Crimes mission. Uh, is this, oh, more stairs. What have we got up here? A plan of Buckingham Palace. The Queen's study is circled in black. Circled in black? <laughs> but it's crossed. What else we got here? No, oh, more stairs. Jesus Christ. What's this? Galley proof. A typesetter's been a typesetter's galley proof for a penny dreadful. Explosion at the palace with some descriptive text. Attack at the heart of Britain. Bucking a palace in flames. Will the queen escape? The book is written by Henry Raymond. The palace hasn't exploded yet, though. Uh, where's that last thing? There it is. Can I inspect, please? Thank you. Anti-royalist pamphlets. Down with the monarchy. An end to our suffering under Victoria. The queen must pay for her sins. He's planning an explosion at the palace. It must be evacuated. Well, at least I've been not. At least I got knighted at the end of the game. So we need to get to the palace, like now. Oh, it's already marked. Planning an explosion at the palace. Yeah. And he's gonna try and kill the queen. Yeah. 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 Excuse me! Yeah. Yeah. I'm probably on the most important mission ever. And I cannot be stopped. Damn, I should have gone straight to the park. Fuck. Leave it. No God damn it. There is a bunch of people here. It's the perfect spot. There's at least a hundred people here for the knighthood ceremony. The queen will use the scepter with the dove for the knighting. She'll arrive precisely at one o'clock. Okay, we need to locate the queen and evacuate the party guests. Okay, we have exactly a minute to get shit. Get out! Emergency! Out! Do as you're told. I haven't had a chance to chat with the Queen in weeks. Out of here now! Damn you! I demand to know what's going on. Get out! Emergency! Where the fuck's the Queen? There she is. Emergency! Out! Mr. Fry, I grant you leave to order me to leave. Good. They're out. Why is nothing happening? Nothing? What's going on? I've been tricked! Raymond! Why has he done this? What the hell is that, Queen Victoria? Mr. Fry, I grant you leave to order me to leave. You are more naive than you appear.
You appeared in previous missions. Look beyond the obvious, beyond surface appearances. <clears throat> Look beyond the Okay. What the hell's happening? This is not how I expected it all to end. Nothing but a show me. So many people makes everything more dramatic. Ah, it's all connected. Four oh eight. What does a four oh eight mean? Oh. Ah. Uh. I found the same clues you found. I knew there was to be an explosion and I led you here to save everyone. I'm as mystified as you are that nothing happened. You've helped me herd all those dreary people to certain death. We shall hear the explosion presently. Seems to me you've created the perfect diversion, haven't you? Which one is telling the truth? I found the same clues you... That, my friend, makes no sense. Well, fuck. Seems to me you've created. Is it this guy? I'm just gonna go ahead and conf uh, accuse all of them. My friend makes it's this guy. Of course it is. Quite right. Uh, written by a left-handed man. Because I can't walk any faster, let alone run. I brought him his invitation to the knighthood ceremony. The one with the special scepter. Let's see what we got here. Alright, what have we got over here? What's with the warping of Jesus Christ? Look at that. Never trust a man who tells you what you want to hear. He is after something. Kidnapper, master thief. I'm pretty sure it's one with this, who wanted to steal the scepter. Yeah, I'm gonna go for one with the scepter. A man like me can take anything he wants, even the queen's most beloved item of all her crown jewels, the priceless and symbolic scepter with the dove. This is what the others have to say first. 
I needed you to distract everyone so that I could quietly assassinate Her Majesty the Queen. There was a thing about child labor. While you were chasing all those people around, I absconded with the Queen. A hefty ransom is now due. Pretty sure it's this guy who wanted the scepter. The scepter with the dove taken with your help. What could better display my genius? Uh. Yep, I was right. What have we got here? No one questions you when you wear a uniform. The uniform soldier. Oh, the fucking spider. God damn it. What are those noises they make when you accuse them? Huh? I suspect the solution will turn on geometry. Geometry, eh? I'm a fellow of many skills. Cracking a safe is but one. Uh. I simply watched the Queen open the safe when you arrived. The dead soldier. Pretty sure it's that second one. I threatened the Queen with her very life. She told me the combination in a thrice. Now let's listen to this one again. I am a fellow of many... Okay, I'm pretty sure it's this guy. Watching from where? The window was broken, there was a guard. A dead guard. Accused. Now what noise do you mention? Do you mean cipher? Noise. Quite right. Ah, the grunting sound. I really have no idea what the hell that is, if I'll be honest. The dead guard was I. The spider venom allowed me to fake my death. I had a perfect view from where I lay. I have stolen the queen's most prized possession. You shaved your beard. With the dove. Think of it. I have outfoxed you, the most cunning detective in Britain. I mocked you by leaving clues for you at every turning point. Now I have the scepter, proof positive of my superiority. Alrighty. Jacob, wake up! It's Raymond. He's taken Artie hostage. They're on the roof. Evie's here to help you, Jacob. <sighs> on the roof we go. This lad's very life Jacob, depends upon help. it. You have done well. Indeed, far better than I expected. Oh, God damn it! really? Dialogue cut off again? Fuck. Don't worry, Jacob. He won't know it's coming. Feature in 
my next story. What will you do now? You're standing on a roof with no plan. Yes, but Artie here is a trump card, is he not? There we go. I suppose this means our detective days are over. But what about you, Artie? I'm glad I survived Mr. Raymond's insanity, but sadly he won't be here anymore to write more books. A great loss, I'm sure. I'm quite serious, Miss Evie. Me and my friends waited every week to read the next number and find out what happened next. Why don't you write some yourself? A fellow would have to be very clever indeed. Sounds like you'd be in your element, my dear. The gruesome Whitechapel murders by Artie. I should think I would use my full name by Artie Conan Doyle. Artie's Arthur. Sounds more of a serious fellow. Arthur Conan Doyle, of course. I've heard that name before. Ooh, I got a cancel apparently. Yep, that was a good DLC. DLC is over. Took me two streams to complete it too, because I took my because some of the missions took my t uh, took a lot of time to complete them. All right, well, All right, well, let's do that real quick. Hey, come back! You've just killed a man. Hey, stop! Justice has been served. Alrighty. So yeah, that's the Dreadful Crimes DLC finished. Next, the last, uh, the last Maharaja. Uh, that'll be done in the next stream because I'm actually, I'm actually coming to an end now. Um, I have another stream scheduled for tomorrow night. I was meant to stream something else tonight, but um, I was meant to stream some Far Cry 5 tonight, but let's just say my cold partner is una was unable to, so I decided to do this instead. So yeah, there should be another stream tomorrow night unless something else comes up or I fall sick. But yeah, um, thank you everyone for watching, and I shall see, see you guys tomorrow night.